And today I'm going to be talking about the blood supply of the diaphragm. As you can see here, we have four main arteries that supply the diaphragm. And I've gathered some pictures here to make it easy for me to explain the location of each artery. So we have two arteries that come out of the aorta. The first one comes out of the thoracic aorta, which is called the superior phrenic artery. Phrenic because it supplies the diaphragm, and superior because it's on top of the diaphragm. Very easy. It supplies the posterior uh, top part of the diaphragm, right over there, we can't see it. And this artery is a very small artery, not very important. The inferior phrenic artery, however, is more important than the superior one. It comes out of the abdominal aorta. And it's very important because it has several branches that supply different parts of the diaphragm. So it has the anterior branch, lateral, and posterior branch of the diaphragm. The third artery I'm going to discuss here is called the um, pericardiophrenic artery. It comes from the internal thoracic artery, which comes from the subclavian artery, which comes from the brachiocephalic trunk, which comes finally from the aorta. So again, if we follow the path, the aorta, brachiocephalic trunk, subclavian artery, internal thoracic artery, and then we have the artery that we're interested in, the pericardiophrenic artery. Phrenic because of the diaphragm, pericardium because it descends here, right over here. Um, so pericardiophrenic artery. The fourth one and the last one is called the musculophrenic artery. It also comes from the internal thoracic artery, but it comes from a branch of the internal thoracic artery called the internal, the anterior, sorry, the anterior intercostal branch of the internal thoracic artery. So if we follow the path again, we have the aorta, we have the brachiocephalic trunk, we have the subclavian artery, and then we have the internal thoracic artery, and then we have the anterior intercostal branch, and then we have the uh, musculophrenic artery that supplies the diaphragm. Here's the small summary of what I've explained with some details. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much.